Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. How are we all doing? I hope we're doing really, really well. Um, so it has been ages since I last vlogged. Um, I think my last one was when we were in the Cotswolds in February. So I thought I would ease myself back in today because we are going away to Palmer tomorrow. Um, so obviously I will be vlogging that trip. But I have a like really, really good haul of holiday bits. Um, it's a content trip primarily. So I've bought quite a lot of new stuff. Um, I've gone a little bit overboard, to be honest. But what is new? Um, so yeah, I thought I could show you those bits in a vlog today. And then also do a bit of a like pack with me style video as well. Um, I did one of these, I think it was almost a year ago exactly. Because we went to Paris in May last year um, and you guys seem to like that video so I thought I would film another one um, I'm kind of organized I've got all like my outfits together I've written everything out in my phone um, I've got all my accessories I think I've started packing like my makeup and um, like toiletries and that kind of thing um, but I haven't actually put anything into the case yet and I want to try it all on again first and get some pictures on my phone just so when I get there I know like exactly what outfits I've got um, so I can just be a little bit more prepared when it comes to shooting content. Right, so over here is my rail. Um, we're going for four nights and we've got like four and a half days there. Um, and I've got about two weeks worth of outfits on this rail. Um, so I think I might need to whittle it down a bit. Um, obviously, like I said, it is a content trip. So I will be taking like more than one or two outfits per day. Um, but yeah, I do think I need to cut this down a little bit. Um, so we've mostly got like daytime. Oh no, that's evening bits over here. And then daytime bits in the middle. And then some jackets. I think we are expecting some rain towards the end of the week week which kind of puts a spanner in the works because everything here is very summery and um, so I do think I maybe need to rethink and pack something that's going to be like rain appropriate um, but I've got like a couple of blazers here and then my cashmere cardigan which I'm going to wear for the flight um, and then just a couple of linen shirts which kind of acts as a layer as well and then over here I've just put out all the accessories I think I'm going to need and um, like I said I'm going to try it all on again in a second so we'll see um, but I've got a few pairs of heels these ones are new from Aloha's and um, I think these are going to go with most of my outfits because like gold goes with everything and um, it's very cobbly in Palmer so um, like practical heels like this that aren't going to go like in between the cobbles aren't going to be best um, and that's like a really manageable heel height so I think I'll wear those a good few nights um, and then I've got these ones from Zara again like a really low heel heel these june ones i'm not sure whether i'll wear that much um, but i think i will use these for content and um, they are like my most comfortable heels though so i might wear those on one of the nights um, and then i've just got a few pairs of flat sandals my celine belt also going to be taking my tan one but i've got it on currently um sunglasses wise look in here i just got the um celine triumph oval sunglasses the other week i've wanted these for ages i've been meaning to pick them up and yeah finally went into selfridges and got these and then i'm also going to take these ones which again are new these are from um vela um it's an australian brand and they do some really really nice styles but i like the fact that these ones are kind of like a like chocolatey brown and um, i don't know if it's coming up on camera very well but the lens and also what's that called like the main sunglasses like plastic is also chocolate brown so i thought they'd be cute with a few different outfits and um, i probably will take my black ysl ones as well um, and then these are the bags i think i'm going to take this is a raffia clutch from cos i feel like this is going to go with so many like holiday looks and um, i'm thinking with like daytime looks and also obviously with evening looks as well so yeah that's a really like versatile one um, and then I think I'm going to take my Cult Gaia clutch. I've not used this yet, but it is just the most beautiful bag. Um, and then my Celine clutch. I got this last year and I love it. 
it's like a really nice like woven -y material so perfect for summer looks um, and then obviously my Loewe basket bag and I'm also going to take my new big Loewe like beach bag as well and um, I might use that one as my hand luggage but I'm not entirely sure yet bit of a different <laughs> setup today um, but I wanted to do the haul in the mirror because it's just a bit easier so I've brought through my massive William Wood mirror um, Aiden's just like popped it against the um, sofa so I'm really really hoping it's not going to fall because that would be absolutely catastrophic um, but I think it should be alright because the rug is quite like textured so I'm hoping it's going to keep it in place um, this is my TV unit behind me um, very makeshift on the styling um, but I just threw a few things on there to try and make it look a little bit nicer um, but I thought I would show you what I'm wearing before I get into like the summer holiday haul I don't think I'm going to take this with me but it's a good like everyday um, throw on dress from Zara It's really nice quality actually and just like a thick kind of like jersey knit material um, And then I've just popped my Celine belt around it to cinch in because it is quite shapeless um, And then it's like a perfect like maxi length on me and I am 5 foot 2 for reference um, but yeah, I'm going to get into the haul now. I've mainly got bits from Abercrombie, Cos, Ad, Massimo Duty, um, and a couple of other bits thrown in here and there. So we better get on with it because it's getting pretty late now. So I'm going to start off with the Abercrombie bits and I'm very excited to be working with them on this part of the video. And I'm also so relieved that this parcel turned up yesterday. Um, I wasn't sure if it was going to get here in time. So I was so excited when it came because they have so so many good bits in for like holidays and just like summer bits in general this set is an absolute dream i absolutely love it and um, i think this is a linen blend but it's this like kind of sweetheart neckline top with the really really cute capped sleeves it's also got this like under bust corset detail which is really nice and then this like, maxi skirt which is so so pretty i feel like this is going to be such a summer staple for me and um, i think you're meant to wear it a little bit lower down so i've kind of gone for a low waist situation um i do think you could also like pull it up and wear it higher waisted if you wanted to but maybe size down if you wanted to do that because it is a tiny bit big around the waist and um, i guess i could have it taken in so it's a little bit tighter but i do quite like how it looks worn like that especially with like the top covering it um, they do this in a couple of different lengths i went for the petite and like i said before i'm five foot two it's perfect length it's got this like slit at the back um, and yeah, I feel like I will wear both of these pieces loads separately as well. Um, but I think this is the perfect holiday look. Um, very like vintage vibes. And as always, Abercrombie linen is such good quality. Another little linen set. Um, this one actually wasn't part of the order I did, but I picked this top up in store the other day. And then these trousers I showed you last time I worked with Abercrombie. Um, but I thought I would show you them again because they are the best linen trousers ever. Um, I got a new like bright orange top. You see the colour of that dress behind me? It's the exact same colour as that. And I tried it on with these trousers and you couldn't see the orange through it at all. Um, they are completely lined all the way down to the floor. So yeah, they are not see-through in the slightest. Um, and then obviously you can like mix and match all their linen pieces so I could do the other top with the trousers and like vice versa um, the trousers I'm wearing in the extra extra small regular and they're a great length with like flat shoes on me um, and then the little top I got in an extra small and it's really cute with this like ruching detail and um, again I feel like I'll wear this a lot and it'd also look really nice with like a blazer over the top maybe with some jeans um, when I'm back home so you're gonna have to ignore how pale I am um, I scrubbed off all my tan this morning in the shower and then I put on a layer of a new tan from Saint-Tropez it's like one of the purity ones so it has no like guide color and I'm thinking it's more of like a subtle color so I'm definitely going to put another layer on later 
Um, but this is more of like a beachy um, daytime look. Um, I'm wearing the cutest bikini top from Abercrombie. Um, sadly, I think they've sent the bottoms in a separate package. Um, they must have been coming from a different warehouse or something. But I ordered two bikinis and I got the top for this one and the bottoms for the other one. So that's a little bit of a shame. But I wanted to show it you anyway because I think it is so cute. Um, it's just this brown and white stripe. Um, they do a few different styles to mix and match um, but I really like this one because I feel like it gives you a bit of lift in the boob department um, I'm wearing the extra small in this by the way um, and then the linen shirt is also Abercrombie um, I got this one a couple of months ago but it goes perfectly with the bikini so I thought I'd pop those on together and um, this is a, like a crinkly material by the way I'm not sure if I said but I really really like crinkle bikinis um, and then the shorts are then dad shorts I love these they are the perfect length and um, I really like that the um, like hem isn't raw and um, I feel like that makes them look a little bit smarter and um, but yeah the perfect perfect length I went for the waist 24 and they fit great around the waist and um, they do also come in the curve love range but I went for the regular ones and I think they fit absolutely fine around the legs and um, the perfect like mid wash as well and um, very vintage vibes again so yeah, really, really happy with this little outfit. So this is like my dream cover-up dress. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, a really, really nice crochet knit. It's got this kind of like diamond detail, um, a midi length. It's got little slits up both legs. Um, and then the tie strap detail as well, which is so pretty. Um, I've just popped a little strapless bikini underneath. And I know I'm going to get so much wear out of this this summer. Um, hopefully in Parma. And then definitely when we go to Italy at the end of July. Um, but yeah, I think this is an absolute dream. Would highly, highly recommend this if you are looking for a really nice summer cover-up. Um, I went for the extra small in this. And it fits perfectly um, and yeah I'm just obsessed so this is definitely a winner so I was clearly feeling summer whites when I did my Abercrombie selects but I also picked up this adorable little mini dress um, I saw this online I think last year so I think they brought it back out again this year um, and I remember really wanting it then so I'm very very glad I picked this up um, it's got this gorgeous square neckline with the pleated detail and then we all know I love a puff sleeve um, and then it is a mini length with pockets which I definitely appreciate um, I'm normally a midi or a maxi girl but I just really really liked the look of this um, I do think it also comes in in a midi version as well so if that is more your thing then I will try and leave that one linked as well and um, I went for the extra small and I do think I could have sized down because it is elasticated at the back um, but the extra small fits fine as well trying to find my pocket here um, but yeah the material is like a really really nice cotton poplin um, it is lined as well so um, not see-through at all with nude underwear um, and yeah, I just think it's really, really cute. So very happy to have picked this one up. Um, perfect for a easy throw on holiday outfit, but would also look really, really nice in the UK as well. And yeah, it's just really comfortable. So very, very happy with this one too. And then the final bits I got from Abercrombie were a couple of basics. Um, I picked up their baby tee in the black and also in the white. Um, it's a very, very soft, like cotton basic. Slightly cropped length, but definitely enough length to tuck it in. Um, and yeah, tops like this are just such a go-to for me. I wear them pretty much every day. Um, I wore this one out yesterday, styled exactly like this. Um, these are my Abercrombie 90s straight jeans. Um, I have these in a few washes now, but I'd say these ones are probably my most worn. And they are just my favourite jeans in the whole world. Perfect length. They are so flattering on the bum and absolutely no gap. So I will leave these linked as well.
Um, I might actually wear one of these little tops for the flight. Um, I haven't actually thought about my travel outfit yet, which is very unlike me. Um, but yeah, this is just like really comfortable and I'll probably do it with some leggings and my cashmere cardigan. I don't know what is going on with the weather because it looked like it was shaping up to be a really, really nice sunny evening. But there are some definite grey clouds outside my window right now. So that's a bit annoying. But hopefully you can still see all the pieces okay. Um, this next dress is from Massimo Duty. Um, I feel like this is just screaming like Mediterranean vibes to me for some reason. Not really sure why. But I feel like this is the perfect kind of dress to wear for a nice evening out in Parma. Um, it's a linen like textured fabric. I love the texture to this and it also means that if it does crease then you can't really tell because it's already got that effect to it anyway. Um, although to be honest I don't know how much this would crease. It must be a linen blend but on me it is a maxi length. It's just got this little slit for a bit of movement um, and then the one shoulder detail is so nice. It kind of like twists round. I really really like that. Um, it's quite shapeless to be honest but I don't think I would belt this. Um, I feel like it is like quite comfortable just like this and I'd definitely be happy to eat a massive meal in this um, all the patatas bravas and yeah I think it would be really comfortable still um, so yeah I absolutely love this one um, such a nice colour as well I mean I say that but it's literally like mud coloured <laughs> but I do really like it so yeah love 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 this one this next outfit is a little two piece from Pretty Lavish um, this is from the uh, new collection with Chloe Lloyd which I think is launching on the 10th of May um, so probably before this video goes out um, so hopefully this is still in stock because it is so nice um, I already have it in the cream version but when I saw they were bringing it out in beige I was just like I definitely need that because it's such a gorgeous set um, a maxi length skirt I love how this like flows out and then the little matching top which is like a bandeau and slightly curved at the top which I think looks really really nice um, I've put this like over the top rather than tucking it in and um, I feel like that looks really cute and again it goes really really nicely with these Aloha's sandals so I feel like I'm going to be wearing these pretty much every night um, I'm wearing an extra small in both pieces and they fit perfectly and it's gorgeous, gorgeous quality as well. So can't wait to wear this one on one of the evenings. You see what I mean about the weather being all over the place because it's now like five minutes later and the sun is back out. So I've just moved that mirror there because it was reflecting and making it all like bright and weird. Um, but this next dress is from Cos. I picked up a few different pieces from Cos but I feel I feel like you guys are really going to like this one. Um, I don't normally wear colour as we all know but I really do like this like bright orangey colour. Um, I feel like it's perfect in the summer and it just really brightens up like your skin tone and your complexion. Um, this again is a really really comfortable flowy dress. Um, it's got pockets and the fabric is gorgeous. Um, I feel like cos pieces are such beautiful quality. Um, I love the like halter neck style. It's a little bit big around my like neck but I don't think you can really tell. Um, so yeah I think it's gorgeous. Um, the only thing is is that I've seen another orange dress on reformation i'll pop a picture of that one into the side and i really really want that and i don't think i can justify two orange dresses and um, so you'll have to let me know which one you prefer um obviously if i end up wearing this one whilst we are away then i probably won't get the reformation one um, but I do really, really like this. And I feel like this will be gorgeous on someone a little bit older as well. And um, I feel like it's a really classic and a timeless style that you could bring back out every single summer. Um, I will also show you belted as well because I would potentially wear it cinched in. Okay, so I've just popped my Celine belt around it and I feel like I like it even more now. Um, I'd probably do some tan sandals rather than these gold ones just to tie it in but I feel like cinched in just gives it a little bit more shape and I think I definitely prefer it this way and um, so now I am leaning towards keeping this oh I feel like it's so so pretty and um, we'll have to see what the weather's like in Palmer because
because I feel like it needs to be like a really warm sunny evening for me to get away with this colour. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Next up from Cars, I picked up a waistcoat. Um, I feel like this outfit's giving me a little bit of Sophia Ritchie at her wedding vibes, which was everyone else as obsessed with that wedding as I was. Um, but yeah, this is kind of reminding me of one of the looks she wore. Um, I never know if I suit these waistcoats. I feel like I look a little bit like a little boy, um, but I do think it is really cute and it's really nice quality as well. It's like a textured, almost like knitted fabric. Kind of has like a boucle look to it almost. Um, and then with these like beigey buttons, I've paired it with these gorgeous pants from Lily Silk. Um, these again are new. I am doing a collaboration with Lily Silk on on a YouTube short and um, so I will have a discount code coming for that soon and um, but these pants are just incredible and um, they've almost got like a bit of a sheen to them with them being silk and they are so soft and um, also a really great length on me with heels um, and yeah I just think this is a really kind of chic outfit um, so let me know what you think of the waistcoat maybe it would look better if it was a bit tighter at the back not sure um, but I do think I like it so we will see okay and then I also picked up this halter neck top in two colors so I got this navy one it's a very very dark navy so I'm not sure if it's showing up as black um, but I got this one and then I also got it in a bright orange, the same colour as the dress I showed you before. Um, but I love the shape of this and then it is just like a clean halter neck. It doesn't have any like fastening. Um, and then the back is kind of low, I think you can see there. And this is what I mean about these Abercrombie trousers because you cannot see through at all um, because of that lining. So you can definitely get away with wearing like black or navy with them. Um, the fabric of this is like a knitted fabric like a fine knit um, you don't really need to wear a bra well I don't anyway but I don't have very big boobs and um, I'd say it's pretty supportive and yeah just a really gorgeous basic to have for holidays or like hot summer's days and then here is the orange top um, I feel like this looks so nice in contrast with the white trousers and the tan accessories um, so yeah I think I'm definitely going to keep this one too um, I just really really like the shape of this and yeah it's just gorgeous quality so I would highly recommend these little basics from COS. Very nearly forgot to show you this gorgeous dress I got from Soft Goat. Um, they sent me this along with the cashmere cardigan which you might have seen in my last video and this dress is so beautiful. I feel like this is such a classic like timeless and very chic style and um, it came in I think a few different colours but I went for the navy um, I love navy in the summer paired with tan accessories and the fabric obviously it's cashmere so it is incredibly soft um, I'm thinking this might be a good option for one of the days where it's going to rain. Um, depending on how cold it is, I feel like this could potentially work. Um, I'll obviously need to put like a blazer or something over my shoulders. Um, but yeah, if we're going for like lunch or something and we're not doing a too much walking around, then I don't really mind wearing a dress in the rain. Um, but yeah, it's just the softest, softest thing ever. And I know I'm going to have this one in my wardrobe for years to come. Um, it's the perfect dress to wear in the UK during summer as well. Um, so yeah, glad I didn't forget to show you this one. And then the final new in pieces are again from Cos. And this is a gorgeous little striped cord. Um, this top is actually a silk scarf. I've wanted one of these for ages because I feel like there's quite a few different ways you can wear them. Um, for now, I've just got it tied like this. I do need to cut the tag off. Um, but I did try and work it out how you can do it where you feed it through a necklace and then tie it at the back. But I couldn't and I'm in a rush. So I've just done it like this for now. Um, and then the trousers are like a wide like fit. These aren't silk. I think they are like viscose or something like that but they are like a satin fabric. So really nice and match perfectly with the top. And um, to be honest, I could probably do with them being a little bit shorter to wear them with flats. I've just got my flat Zara sandals on now, but I think with the heeled version of these, the like heeled mules, 
I think they would be the perfect length. Um, I definitely would wear this in the evening. I feel like dressed up, it would look really nice. Um, but equally, you could definitely wear it as a daytime look. Uh, maybe if you're going to like a beach club or something like that, I feel like this will be so, so chic. Um, and they did also have a matching satin shirt, if that is more your thing. Um, but like I said, I have wanted one of these silk scarves for ages. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this set. Um, and yeah, that is everything I've picked up that's new in. There was a lot. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep everything. So anything that I don't wear probably will go back. Um, but I like to have lots of options, especially when I am going to be shooting a lot of content. Um, but yeah, I really need to get on with my packing now. Aiden's just gone to take Wally to his mum and dad's because he's staying there whilst we are away. So that's sad because I'm going to miss him a lot. Um, but we're only over for four nights, so it won't be long before we are back with him again. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go and grab our cases now, and then I will start the packing process. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I've just been down to check to see if any last minute parcels had arrived, and this Abercrombie bikini top has turned up, which I am over the moon about. Really wasn't expecting that. Um, the striped bottoms aren't in the package though, um, so they must be coming separately but I will take what I can get and um, so yeah this is the other style that I went for um, a strapless top with these like cheeky bikini bottoms and um, really really like this and I love this color I don't have a bikini in blue and um, it also has straps if you want to add them on um, but again it's in that like crinkly material so yeah very very pleased with that <sighs> Honestly, I feel like this vlog has just been entirely chaotic vibes. So I am so sorry if that is the case, but I've just been running around like a crazy person trying to get everything sorted and organized today. Um, but yeah, I've just got changed into a comfy Adenola set. Um, this is my favorite one at the minute. It's my navy one. Um, and then I've popped my soft goat cashmere cardigan over the top. Um, this is the one I was telling you about before. Um, I think I might wear something like this for the flight tomorrow. Um, probably not the crop top, but I might do one of the Abercrombie t-shirts um, and then either these leggings or my black ones um, just to be super comfy. Um, but yeah, I've just grabbed my packing cubes. Um, I've got quite a few and these are just from Amazon. Um, if you don't have packing cubes, you definitely need them in your life. And um, they just make the process like so, so much easier because you can like separate it out. And then it's also loads easier when you get there as well for like unpacking and things. Um, so I usually just separate out my outfits into like daytime outfits and evening outfits. Um, I might put all like my trousers into one or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and get all of this packing done by the time Aiden gets back because we're going to get a takeaway tonight, which I'm very much excited for. Um, I haven't actually eaten anything since breakfast, so I am very hungry now. Um, but yeah, the sun is now blinding me, so let's put you on a time lapse and see how much packing we can get done. <laughs> quick pizza break. I am absolutely starving. My mouth is watering looking at this. Um, so I've got salami, andouja, black olives, chilies. I've got a garlic bread with cheese. And Aiden went a bit boring with a margarita and ricotta. I'm sure it'll be nice. So it's now the next morning. We are all packed up and ready to go. Um, sorry I didn't pick the camera back up last night, but I was just absolutely knackered. Um, but we've managed to get all of the stuff pretty much into one of our antler cases. We have three different sizes of this, and this is the medium one, and then this is the little like carry-on cabin one. Um, and then I've got this one as well, which I can't remember where that was from. I think maybe like Amazon or eBay, but I've had it years and it 
really needs replacing. Um, and then I've just got like the rest of my bits in my Loewe um, beach bag. Um, so yeah, and then here is my travel outfit. Um, I ended up going for this Abercrombie t-shirt bodysuit. Um, and then my trousers are from Pretty Lavish. These are really, really comfortable. Would highly recommend. I'm not sure if they still do the navy ones, but they definitely do them in black and beige as well. So I will leave those linked. Um, I've got my New Balance 530s on. Um, and then my cashmere cardigan from Soft Goat. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the video here and pick back up the camera once we're on the other side in Palmer. Um, so please do come back and watch the Palmer vlog. Um, it's one of my favourite cities to visit and I've been a few times now, so I feel like I've got a really good list of recommendations. Um, so yeah, definitely come back and watch that. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Sorry the packing portion was such a flop, but hopefully you enjoyed the haul. Um, and see you next time.